Yo, what's up guys, it's Joey here for Creator. Hope all is well. Welcome back to another cool PC build guide. Today we're gonna to be working with an AMD graphics card and CPU. The budget for this build is gonna be 750 bucks. It's gonna fulfill our needs. We're gonna be able to game at high FPS at the 1080p resolution. If you've never built a PC before, you've come to the right place. Here we show you how to do everything from start to finish. This guide will be beginner friendly. First, we're gonna go over all the parts and their prices. Second, we're then gonna build the PC from start to finish. I got you guys. And then at the very end, we're gonna put this beast to the test. All right, guys. Let's jump into it. So our graphics card, this is the new AMD Radeon RX 7600. And as far as the performance for this card right here, it's between an RTX 3060 and RTX 3060 Ti, depending on the game, of course. I'll go ahead and put some benchmarks up on the screen right now. Some games will be even faster than the 3060 Ti. Performance depends on the game, but as an average, it's between the 3060 and 3060 Ti. It's a solid card for the price and it's rocking eight gigabytes of VRAM. And here we have our card. Nice, simple design, all black with some splashes of silver. As far as the video ports, as usual, three display ports, one HDMI, clean, simple card. What is it gonna be working with? The Ryzen 5 5600X. We've done plenty of builds with this processor. It is now currently going for a lot less money, as you can see. It's a six core processor with a max boost of 4.6 gigahertz. Comes included with the stock heatsink. We're gonna save money there. And it's a good pairing with the 7600. Let's get it open. You have our CPU and the heatsink. Okay, so for the motherboard, we're gonna be using a micro ATX board. It does have built-in Wi-Fi. That's what the AC is for. Let's get it open to show you what it offers a lot of usb ports i like that for our wi-fi in the front of the board this board offers two m.2 ssd slots it's a very solid board for the price we're gonna get a few more things out of here our io shield wi-fi antenna if you're gonna use wi-fi i always use a wired connection all right guys now for our ram we're gonna be using classic 16 gigabytes corsair vengeance ram kit at 3600 megahertz. For our storage, a one terabyte WD Blue M.2 SSD, the SN570. Speedy little storage for a good price. For our power, we're gonna be using a power spec, 650 watt bronze rated power supply. It is semi-modular. So semi-modular for a power supply means that some of the cables are not connected to it. Fully modular means that all of the cables are not connected to it. Why does this matter? Well, then you only hook up the cables you need. So then less cable clutter inside your build, cleaner cable management. Power supply is highly rated on Amazon and it's in stock, which is very important. When it comes to the power supply component, for some reason, a lot of them are always out of stock. This one I've noticed is in stock like all the time. All right, guys. So that leaves us with one more essential component. So this is the Antic NX410. It does support up to an ATX motherboard. So it comes included with three pre-installed RGB fans, two in the front, as you can see here, and one back here. All right, guys, so those were the essential components, and here's the total price of all those parts at the time of recording. Now we're gonna go over our optional parts list, which is purely for aesthetics. You don't need it, but it makes your build look so much more dope. Okay, so first, we're gonna be using our custom Crater power supply extension cables in the black and red colorway, and the box looks dope. I'm really proud of our little design here. It looks sick. So this comes with everything you need. It's a complete kit. And the point of this is you can have this in the front of your build on display, or you can have this on display instead, which of course is gonna make the build look just a lot more higher quality, a lot more put together. Yes, of course, our Funko Pop from the new Across the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man, and our GPU support. All right, guys, be sure to check out our site, CraterHQ.com. We're gonna jump into the build guide now and stay tuned until the end because we're gonna put this build to the test. Let's do it. So first step, we're gonna be installing our CPU. We're gonna get this lever, pull it to the side and pull it all the way up. Now let's take a look at our Ryzen 5 5600X. There's a golden arrow on the bottom left hand side of it. We take a look at our CPU socket on the motherboard. There is an arrow on the top left side of it. So line up both of the arrows with each other. So in this position, now this CPU has pins on it. You don't want to push down onto the socket with the CPU because you're going to bend the pins and mess up the CPU. Don't do that. This is very simple. We're just going to hover it over and just let it drop right in. If it doesn't go in like that, it didn't go in. It's okay. Simply pick it up again and let's hover it over again. And there you go. Now it just fell right into place. All good. So look like that. We return the lever back down to its original position. It's all good. Easy. Next, we're going to install our heatsink. First, we need to unscrew these four screws. So once we remove those two things, we notice four points here. Let's take a look at the stock heatsink. It already has a thermal paste pre-applied. No need to worry about that. We're going to line up these four points with the four points on the board. I want my AMD text right here on the left hand side. And I'm going to place it down onto all four points. Making sure it's even. There you go. Dropped it perfectly on all four points. And now we're going to secure it. Now I'm going to tighten one of the sides a little bit first. I just wanted to get it to attach. That's attached. Now I'm going to move on to the side across. And I'm doing this to maintain even pressure. I'm going to do the same thing for the other two screws. Attach this one a little bit. And now do the one across. 
get it to attach. Okay, cool. And once they're all attached, now I'm gonna finish screwing in all of them fully. It won't let you over tighten it. You just keep screwing until your screwdriver stops. There you go, screwdriver has stopped. You don't need to force it, it's good to go. To the other side. Now we need to connect the CPU fan to the header right here labeled CPU fan. Done. Now we're gonna install RAM. Okay guys, so we're gonna pull back the second levers and the fourth levers. We're gonna put our RAM sticks into the gray ones, the second slot and the fourth slot. RAM only goes in one way. You wanna make sure you line up the indent of the RAM correctly on the RAM slot. You can see it right there. So in our case, you want the vengeance text on the left side of the motherboard over here. So we're gonna put our RAM in. And once you have it into place, make sure you push down with both thumbs, equal force. So this one clipped in, this one didn't clip in. That just happens sometimes, it is in. So I'm just gonna lift it up like that. There you go. And now for the second one, put it into place, the fourth slot, and push down again. And there we go. It should look like that, guys. The RAM is in the second and fourth slot for dual channel. Next, we're gonna install our SSD. So we're gonna be putting our M.2 into this slot right here. We wanna get this from here and pull it up to take this thing out. Now we're gonna put our M.2 in right here, just like that. Now we can push this down and it's gonna sit on that and resecure it by putting this thing back where it was like that. M.2 installed. Should look like that, guys. Feel free to add a second M.2 SSD in the future right here. We're now ready to put our motherboard inside our case. We take a look at the back of the case in the hard drive cage. We're gonna get this out. And these are all the screws we're gonna need. When installing a motherboard inside any case, you wanna make sure all the points of the motherboard line up with the motherboard standoffs inside the case. So we need to add two additional standoffs. I'm gonna get them out of here, show you how they look. The standoffs look like this. So I got two of them from the bag that came with the case. I'll link the screwdriver in the video description. We're gonna be adding our first one right here. Okay, that's in. Our second standoff will go right here. We have two standoffs here and here. I'm gonna be moving them higher. I'm gonna unscrew the bottom left one and I'm gonna install it here. Next one, I'm gonna unscrew. I'm gonna move this one here. So we're gonna be securing the motherboard with eight standoffs. I'm gonna highlight them all red. There's one here, 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 and then here and here. So we added these two and we relocated these two from the bottom. Now we're gonna install the IO shield. We gotta get it inside the case. And then we gotta line it up and clip in all four points. Make sure these three circles are in the bottom. There we go. Now I'm gonna lay the case flat. Now we're ready to secure our motherboard. I'm gonna get the cables from the fans. Just make sure it's not under the motherboard. So I'm moving them to the side. And first I wanna line up the ports of the motherboard with the IO shield. Once I make sure that's lined up good, it's good. Now I'm just gonna lay my motherboard flat and line up the middle standoff right there. Then I lined up this middle standoff. Now it's good to go, let's secure it. We're going to be using this screw that came with the case. All right, we finished. I'll wire the cables from this fan through here to the back. Again, I'll highlight all the points we secured. Cool. We're gonna remove the hard drive cage now. So we're gonna have more space in there for cable management. We're not gonna be using hard drives in here. It's 2023. Okay, now let's install our power supply. First, we have to prep it. So the two cables that are already connected to it is our big 24 pin power cable that we're gonna be using to power our motherboard. And then a CPU power cable that we're gonna be using as well to power the CPU. We're only gonna be plugging in two additional cables into it. The first cable is the cable that's gonna power our graphics card, the RX 7600. So one end of the cable has two A pins. This one, the red one, we're gonna hook up to here. So this is our PCI power cable that powers our graphics card. All right, we'll set that to the side. Now we're gonna be plugging in one of these cables. It's going to have ends like this. This is a SATA power cable. We're gonna hook up this end of the cable here where it's a SATA. All right, that's ready to go. Okay guys, now we're gonna be installing our extensions. So first, our big 24 pin power cable. Instead of this on display in the front, we're gonna have this on display in the front. So originally this would hook up to the motherboard. Instead, we're gonna hook this up to the end of the extension cable. And now this end will hook up to the motherboard. We're gonna do the same thing for the CPU power cable, which is eight, but it's split four plus four. We're gonna find our custom extension cable. That's also four plus four. And then hook up the other end of it to the CPU power cable four plus four. 
get it to clip in there. Last one, we're gonna get our PCI power cable, and we're only gonna be using one of these, and it is three plus two. We take a look at our custom sleeve extension cable, six plus two. So we're gonna line it up with the PCI power cable. That's also six plus two. That powers our graphics card. And this is the last one. So when we're installing our power supply inside the case, you wanna make sure that the fan is facing down. So we're gonna slide it into here and line it up, secure it with the screws that came with the power supply. All right guys, now it's time to start plugging in our cables. We're gonna take it one cable at a time, very simple. So we're gonna have two groups of cables, our power supply cables and our case cables, which connect things like the power button to the motherboard. All right guys, so let's jump into it. So we're gonna be plugging in our big 24 pin power cable. We want this to clip back here. So I'm gonna line it up straight and then push in. Cool. Looking good. Next, our CPU power cable. We're going to attach it together. And now we want this clip to clip up here. Line it up, clip it in. There we go. Now let's move to the back side of our case. We now have our SATA power cable. We're gonna hook up one of the ends to our case. So this right here from our case powers the lighting of our fans. So let's get that plugged in. All right, good. And our last power cable is for our graphics card, the RX 7600, but we're gonna save that for later. Now we're moving on to our second group of cables, our case cables. So here's our case cables. We're gonna plug in the HD audio cable first, and we need to work it to the front of the case under here, but there's not enough clearance. So we're gonna unscrew our power supply. And now we can just push our power supply forward. Now we have more clearance to work it through. All right, guys, so the first one, we said the HD audio cable only goes in one way. It plugs in right here with the HD audio text facing down. Next cable, our USB 2 cable, plugs in right here. Also only goes in one way, with the USB text facing up. Next case cable is our USB 3 cable. And notice how we have a hump right here. This side is gonna be on top. We're gonna line it up here straight and then push right in. Next are JFP1 cables, where our power LED, positive and negative, the positive on the left side. And we're plugging this into the first row of pins, first and second pins. Just like that, second power LED. Plus again on the left, you can tell it's positive by that little arrow right there. And this one, second row of pins, first and second pins. Last, our power switch. This goes on the first row of pins, third and fourth pins. Doesn't matter what way you plug this one, like that. JFP1 done. Nice job, guys. And now we resecure our power supply. Now we're ready to install our graphics card, our RX 7600. I'm gonna go ahead and take off all this protective film. And now we have to make room for it. So we're gonna clear the second and third brackets for it. So how we do this is we're going to push in and then make sure we bend the metal over here in like that so it doesn't scratch the motherboard. Now we just move this thing up and down and then it just falls right off. Same thing with the third one. Push it in, make sure we bend this like that. Move it up and down, up and down. All right, now we unscrew this, push it to the side. Now we're ready to put it in. So let's get this out of here and we're gonna pull this lever all the way back. We're gonna line up this with the first PCI slot. Once we have it into place, we're gonna push all the way in. And that lever will lift back up and click. Time for me to secure it with these screws that came with the kiss. All right, so both of these are screwed in, it's back into place. Let's screw this up. Now we need to give it juice. Boom. All right, guys, final touches. We're gonna put our Funko Pop in there, Spider-Man, and the GPU support. And we're done, guys. If you were following along, congrats. You got yourself a nice little beastly system. And here we go, first boot up. Boom, build looks sick, guys. Came out really good. All this for 750 bucks, guys. Very clean looking system we have here. Now the colors of the fans are controlled. Up here, there's a button labeled LED. And when we press it, it changes the colors, guys. And the lighting effects as well. All right, guys, so we're not completely done yet. We now need to install an operating system, Windows 11. I've done a tutorial on how to do that for free from a USB flash drive. That video is linked in the video description. After you've done that, we then need to install all the drivers for everything to run good, the graphics card and the mother board. I've done a video on what to do after you're done building your PC and installing the operating system and that video will also be linked in the video's description. All right, good stuff guys. Remember, all the parts used in this build are linked in the video description. Be sure to check out our site, creatorhq.com. Now let's put our sweet new rig to the test. We're gonna frag it up. Settings for Call of Duty Warzone 2. We're gonna be playing the game at 1080p res. For the quality, here are the settings. Doo -doo. 
for the view. It's set to the max 120. Let's do it. I'm gonna flash him. Down into the second floor. Knock, 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 knock. Oh my goodness. I got him, I got him. Nice. I, I need you to come. Oh, I'm getting shot at, bro. Is that you again? How are you not dead, though? Is it? Is it not two of them? It is. Oh my goodness, he's got an RPG. I downed him. Land on, land on the building. Let's finish him. Give up, okay? Oh, right in front of him, right in front of him. Yeah. Oh, he's in my UAV. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. It's all right, it's all right. Oh my goodness. Motor strike. Oh my God, bro, we're so lucky. Get on the ground! Play it up, brother! We gotta get out of here now. Go right. They're gonna be on our right. Oh, they're gonna in here. Get out of here. Oh, oh I goodness. can't get out. Let's get to this gas station and let's not get people landing on top. Right on top of you, right behind us. He's... Left, left, left. Right, 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 right. right. He's down, he's down. He's gonna push up on the right. Get, get out of there, get out of there. We won, we won. Performance is really good on this build. Next game, settings for Apex Legends. 1080p resolution, max FOV, 110. Here are the rest of the settings. Let's do it. Help me, team. Help me. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right. Well, I like the performance of Apex. Settings for Halo Infinite, 1080p resolution, 90 FOV. Here are the video settings. I set them to the medium preset. Let's get it. Go ahead, run, run away with it, run away I'm with trying, it. I'm trying, though. Oh my goodness. No, don't run towards them though. No. You're doing good, run. I died. Dead. One more, one more, one more. Right. Good, get the ball, get the ball. Should I go for the ball? I'm gonna get it. Run, okay. run away, run. I dropped it, I dropped it. Oh, from behind! Good job, dead, get, dead. The ball. get the ball and get back. I got it, I got it. I got oh my god. Help me get the other one. Good job, pick up the ball, pick up the ball. He's still alive. All right, nice job. All right, all right, all right, rush that ball. He's late, he's late, he's late. I got it. Good out job, here. good I'm job, out of here. Got him, you get the ball, I'll cover you. Got it. Oh my but goodness, oh my goodness. Good job, get the Where's ball, the get, ball? The ball. The ball? get the ball. On you, on you, on you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, just run, I'm man. Trying, just I'm run. trying, I'm trying. Save yourself. No, I'm under the stairs. We, we just won. We won. Oh my, nice job, man. Flawless match. GP utilization was at 100%. Good performance. Next game. Settings for Rainbow Six Siege. Had any P resolution. Max FOV, 90. Here are the graphic settings. Let's jump into it. Don't kill him, he's innocent. Don't shoot him, don't shoot him. Don't kill him, don't kill him, no! Good dub. Siege performance was crazy. A lot of FPS, honestly. Siege surprised me. I didn't think it was gonna get that much. All right, guys, next game. Settings for Fortnite, we're playing on full screen, 1080p, performance mode, and here are the rest of the settings. Oh my goodness. Fortnite performance was great. On to the next game. Settings for Valorant, 1080p resolution once again. Graphics quality, here it is. Let's jump into it. Fight!
One kill remaining. Ah, performance from Valorant was great. No surprise, as always. All right, guys, that's a wrap for our 7600 build. For the price of this PC, the performance was really, really good. Thanks for all you guys' support. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.